Hey everybody, what's up? So today we're gonna take a look at how to use your iPad Pro as a second display for your M1 Mac Mini using Sidecar. So go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned. You can use Sidecar on other iPad models as well, not just the iPad Pro. If you're new here, please subscribe and help me reach 1 million subscribers on YouTube. All you get here is pure honest tech reviews, nothing biased. So right here you can see I have Sidecar running on my iPad Pro. I'll first show you how it works and then how to set it up later on in the video. I can easily drag Windows over to my iPad Pro like this. It's very responsive and scrolling is smooth and I can drag them back to my monitor like this. So since I have an ultra wide monitor, let's open some more windows and take full advantage of all that screen. Let's go back over to the iPad Pro. If I move my mouse to the bottom of the screen, you can see it brings up the dock. Pretty smooth scrolling. Let's open another window on here. So now it looks like we have a triple monitor set up going. One, two, and three. Pretty nice, huh? So I'm using the Magnet app to control different windows with keyboard shortcuts. Here are some things I'm able to do with it. You can check out my top 5 Mac apps video to see more about it. Now let's go back over to the iPad Pro and create another window. That should give us a total of 4 windows to work with. Let's see how Crypto is doing. So I'll use the Magnet app on here and create a side by side view as well. So now we have four different things working with. One, two, three, and four. So this is perfect for some serious multitasking and there's no lag at all moving between different windows. It's still very responsive. Let me know what you think. Typing also works great between both displays. Here's an example. Let's move it over to the iPad and we can type over here as well. So that's pretty nice. What's also cool is you can use your Apple Pencil on the iPad. So I can drag and move the window around. I can make it full screen. I can also adjust the size of the window however I want. And also close it out. So that's pretty cool. So instead of using the iPad Pro as a separate display, you can also mirror the display. So if we go up here and click the arrow next to display, you can select mirror instead of separate display. Then you see we get a mirrored display. Since I'm using an ultra wide monitor, it's using the aspect ratio of the iPad Pro, but you can change it to be full screen on the monitor instead and let the iPad Pro use the aspect ratio of the monitor. Pretty cool stuff. Now it's time to set it up. As you can see, Sidecar is not running and this is the regular iPad. So if we click right here, just make sure your iPad and Mac mini are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Then click the arrow next to display right here and select your iPad. If your iPad doesn't show up right here, just click Sidecar Preferences. Go down to select device and select your iPad. Once you click it, give it a second and it should change over on your iPad like this. So here you can see it's working perfectly. You can still use your iPad as normal. Just swipe up from the bottom like this and you're back to using your iPad. If you want to go back in the sidecar, you just tap the sidecar icon right here and you're back. If you notice, I can only drag windows to the right side of the monitor to get them on the iPad, but you can change that to your preference and I'll show you how to do so. So you just click up here and click the arrow next to display and then go down to display preferences right here and click it. Now select the arrangement tab right here and look what happens. We can move the iPad to the top and if we drag the windows to the top of the screen, they appear on the iPad. You can move it to the left like this. Now you're able to drag windows to the left for them to appear on the iPad. 
You can also move it to the bottom like this. Now if you drag windows to the bottom, they appear on the iPad. So that's how you can customize it to get it perfect for your needs. So if you have an iPad laying around, here's a great way to put it to use if you don't have a second monitor. I'm pretty sure it will help to increase your productivity and make multitasking a lot easier. If you like videos like this, comment and let me know. Please give this video a big thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel and help me reach 1 million subscribers on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LamarMK. As always, thank you very much for watching, stay awesome, stay safe, and peace out.